Hey guys, welcome to this video and today we will be talking about a very interesting topic which is the Einstein-Rosen bridge. So before starting our topic, we will be refreshing our memory on two topics in general, distance and displacement. You all might be knowing about this. Okay, okay. Okay, so first of all talking about distance. What is distance? Let's say for example, if I am sitting at my home and I have to go to the market. So I can choose a variety of ways in which I can reach the market. I can either follow one particular path, I can either follow another path, I can take the shorter route, I can take the longer route. It all depends completely on my mood and my choice. So the total path traveled by me, that means I can choose to travel 500 meters, I can choose to travel 1000 meters and all. So the total path traveled by me is known as the distance. If you take the example of this chart, and if you consider point A as our home and point B as the market, then there are a variety of ways. Uh, in this case, there are three ways in which three ways in which you can reach the market. So these are the distances. Displacement. Now, displacement is referred to as the shortest distance between two points. Now, if you take the example of home and market, if you consider point A as home and point B as market, then the shortest distance between the home and the market will be the displacement. Okay. So we now know in a way that distance can be greater than displacement, distance can be equal to displacement, but distance can never be smaller than displacement. Okay. So what if I say that you have to find a shorter way than the displacement to reach the market from your house? Let's say if in this case, this is the shortest part and it is 500 meters. That means the dis displacement from your home to the market is 500 meters and what if I say that you have to find even smaller route or a, a shortcut to the market from your home from point A to point B then what will be the shortcut? Let's take a fresh example in this chart. There is point A and point B. What if I ask you find a shorter route than displacement? So is it possible? Of course not, it is not possible in the two dimensional plane because we have just seen that displacement is indeed the shortest distance and what can be shorter than a straight line joining two points, right? Wrong. So the shortest distance between these two points is this. This technically is the shortest distance between those two points. That means if the point overlap or in general terms, if these two points exist in the same position, then the distance or the displacement can be technically zero. Now, what is this? What is the shortest distance between these two points? This is known as the Einstein-Rosen bridge. Einstein-Rosen bridge is also known as a more popular term and that term is wormhole. So, what is a wormhole? Well, Wormhole is hypothetically or technically a hypothetical shortcut between two points in space and time. That means it is way much smaller than displacement. Now talking about wormhole, if there is a wormhole between point A and point B, so let's say if there is a wormhole between your home to the market, then instead of taking 5 minutes to reach the market, you will be able to reach the market in a comparatively lesser time, say for example 30 seconds or 20 seconds or 10 seconds depending upon the density of the wormhole. Now, if you consider distance, we reach the market in 20 minutes or 10 minutes or 5 minutes. If we consider the displacement, then we reach the market in just in a matter of 5 minutes or so. But if we consider wormhole, we can reach the market. That means we can cover the distance from point A to point B in just 20 seconds or so. That means the time taken to reach from a particular point to a particular point, that the time taken to reach from point A to point B has been reduced to a much larger extent. That means there might be a possibility where the point A and point B overlap each other with the point A and point B overlap each other that means the moment you step out of point A is the moment you step into point B that means the moment you step out of your home is the moment you step in into the market that means technically the time taken to travel a distance of 500 meters is zero that means it's finite speed wait you have heard it somewhere isn't it technically 
the principle of Doraemon's Anyway Do. Anyway Do also uses the same principle. It uses the principle of warping of space time or the Einstein Rosen Bridge or the wormhole. So we have been seeing this thing for years and have considered this as, as fiction, but this is a reality. So we have seen that by the use of wormholes, we can reduce the positive time, that is, uh, say for example, five minutes, to a certain low value, for example, ten seconds or even zero. But, but. Could it be possible that we create a wormhole so dense that the time taken to travel be negative? What would that mean? That would mean that a person has reached point B much before he has even left from point A. That means he is traveling in negative time and that means... Exactly. Time travel. Okay, so guys, if you like this video, then please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. And yeah, do subscribe to this channel. Click on the red button below to subscribe and also share it with your friends so that we can create much better stuff with a team. Probably, because right now I don't have any team. It's just me and the camera and the laptop and Doraemon. So for Doraemon, please subscribe. Peace out.